Hey, what's up, everybody? Preston here, opening some mail. I'm very excited. We got uh, the big one here is from RSR Cards and Collectibles. It was an auction we participated in uh, last Sunday. And then this guy here is from a break of some stuff I got in with uh, on a latent break. And then I'm very excited about this. If uh, you watched, what was it, the Absolute Football, maybe? Uh, we got a, hey, Reds fan for life is here. What's up, buddy? We got a Leaf Redemption. It's the first redemption I've ever pulled, which is crazy, because I've seen a ton of them, and I've opened a lot of cards. So we'll save that for last. I'm very, very excited. So we'll set that over here for a second. As always, I appreciate you hanging out. What's up, Big D Sports? Nice to see you again. You guys are always great. I appreciate the support. So let's let's cut these guys open. And we'll get started. Preston underscore sports on Twitter. We'll post there before we go live. I always appreciate the support, the feedback, the comments, the participation in the chats. Um, I have a ton of fun doing these things. And uh, the community out there of, of collectors and hobbyists has been wonderful to work with. Hashtag we grow together. Make sure you check out all those guys. Just search that up in the YouTube bar and it'll direct you toward all of them. Here we go. All right. So I got the Packers and the Jaguars in this in this latent break. Well, I've got some of my personal. Let me get this little piece of paper out here. Your first one of one yesterday, huh? What what was it, Big D? My first one of one was a Josh Johnson in 2007. Josh Johnson um, printing plate of, of his signature card that year. It was pretty sweet. So we got our. Packers and Jaguars combo break. We'll set those there and we'll open up this next one. If you go back, uh, um, let's see, it's a Twins fan. It's got Immaculate Jose Barrios. Nice. Pat Auto Printing Plate, one of one. Congratulations, Big D Sports and Collectibles. Um, if you go back a few weeks, maybe a month, before this video, you'll see one titled One of One Verlander Sketch Card. It's absolutely sick. It's uh, Todd Aaron Smith, one of the best sports artists in the game. Um, absolutely beautiful. Justin Verlander. In that same box, we got... Um, in that same box, we got a Ripken... Jersey card, too. It was a ridiculously good box. All right. It, it's always a nice touch. Preston, thank you for joining our live auction. Enclosed are your auction cards plus some extras. Extras! RSR cards. That's from Rob and Bubba. Um, it's a great personal touch that they would take the time to write these out. There's a lot of people participating in those auctions. Um, it's a beautiful gesture, and I certainly do appreciate it. Ooh, now I'm double excited. Extra, she says, they said. All right. They do a good job of wrapping these things, too. It's good. Let's get the old scissors out. Oh, let's see if I can catch up with the chat while I'm doing this. Got a 2 of 2 Earl Campbell. Absolutely. I love that. I love Earl Campbell. Uh, how do you value a one-of-one? One? Um, what I did is find something similar on eBay and click the sold button. You always want to check the sold button, not what it's being sold for, because some of that's going to be crazy. It'll give you unrealistic expectations. Um, but search what something similar has sold for. So your one-of-one one Barrios, uh, type in one-of-one, uh, one, uh, you know, a player similar printing plate. Um, you know, patch auto or whatever, and, and try to try to backtrack it that way if you can. 
Um, not by any means am I a professional in terms of that stuff. I don't want to steer you in the wrong direction, but that's how I went about looking um, looking into the 101 Verlander to see what other similar cards are selling for. All right, so in this little pack right on the front of the Wade Boggs card, I'm, I have that card, I'm pretty sure, but it was part of a little uh, a little lot that we picked up. One of ones are they can be difficult to price, especially if you can't find anything like them. Now something like that, I mean, you're gonna. It's all about the buyer too. You got to find the right guy who values that player. Um, if you're doing an auction or something, uh, I guess it'll open your range a little bit if you're trying to get rid of it that way. But um, I think part of it is finding the right guy. That card's going to be a lot more valuable to a Jose Barrios fan than a non-Jose Barrios fan. I know that sounds kind of intuitive and simple, but I suppose it's true, right? Eye of the beholder and all that. All right. We'll be reusing these team bags because I love team bags. It's always a nice little bonus to get the team bags in there. Bonus cards. They even listed the bonus cards, and that's a thick set of bonus cards. Look at that. Awesome. We'll save those. Uh, we'll see what the bonus cards are here in a minute. All right, we got those ready to go, and we got the leaf one set aside. We'll cut into that soon. Oh, I can't wait to see what that. It was a Derwin James, and he's going to be one of the best young. Or uh, yeah, he, he's one of the best young safeties in the league for sure. Um, but he's going to be one of the best defensive backs in the league for the next ten to twelve years. All right, let's take a look. UPC, I love Wade Boggs. You want to go? You want to study? How to hit a baseball. Wade Boggs, Tony Gwynn, Ted Williams. Um, there, there are a few guys that did it better than them. Go go look up Wade Boggs. A bunting's not sexy. It's not done a lot these days. But go look up uh, Wade Boggs in the bunting contest. He'd be bunting balls behind his back and between his legs and stuff. It's, it's incredible. All right. So this was a score from 91. Uh, caricature of Wade. Got an 83 tops autographed rookie. Ooh, looking to trade. I don't know. I have to think about that. Might be out of my range. I'm I, coming off of surgery. I went to the Nationals, and then now now I'm hurting. I'm, I'm going to be hurting for a month or two as I recover uh, financially. So I, I might not be in the market to do anything crazy anytime soon. Um, but I'll keep that in mind. Thumpers at third, Wade Boggs, George Brett together. That's another 90s card. Don Russ, what year we got here? I don't know. It's 2018. It's a throwback card. I remember a card from the 90s where one was a Wade Boggs and the other was George Brett. And if you stuck them together, they made like one big card. You could see part of Wade Boggs's elbow in Brett's, George Brett's uh, card. It was pretty funny. Some more Wade Boggs. This is when he was a Devil Ray. It's a sweet looking card, though. Yeah, let me some Wade Boggs. Oh, you know what, Big D? I got some Twins cards. I, I'm just, maybe I'll drag the old webcam over there and show you. I just started sorting some stuff I was going to put on auction. I got a big pile of, I'll drag that over at the end if you want to check it out. Or maybe I'll, I'll go live with another, just like a chat hangout when I'm done with this. And I'll show you all the stuff I've set aside for the auction. Keith Hernandez and Wade Boggs, 1986 World Series Fleer. From 1987, celebrating the 86 Mets winning the World Series. I did not. These, these are some cards I didn't have a Wade Boggs. I'm excited to get them. And not all of them. And, and they were honest about it. It's not like they, they mentioned the, the imperfections. You can see not all of them are in perfect condition. But, um, but I'm excited to have them. 
that's another 87 yep yeah, another 87 and then uh, that's an 87 or yeah yeah 87 tops with the wood grain everybody loves those these cards are they, they made a billion of them I already had that one but it was in the lot and then I got this man for like a dollar or something there was a lot of it was just a couple bucks maybe two or three bucks or something I picked up some basketball cards I don't have a great amount of basketball cards in my collection um so I picked up this Giannis, it's real thick, shiny, essential stars, 2017-18. I'm not a rookie or anything, but a sweet insert. He's obviously going to be very good for a long time. Another Giannis into Tecumpo, 17-18. The standard cards, but a nice uh, little something to have in the collection as his career continues to blossom. That's an 1819. Into Tacumpo. NBA Hoops. 1819 as well. So a few basketball cards. And then uh, I grew up watching Jordan dominate. And they had they threw up a Stockton a lot that nobody was really interested in. Um so I ended up getting these for just a few bucks, a couple bucks. Stockton and Malone were two of my favorites to watch. They would have got a ring or two if it weren't for Jordan, a ring or two that they deserved. Brilliance basketball, Panini Brilliance. That's a really good looking card, 2012-2013. I like that one. And NBA hoops again. All right. So a few cards from RSR. Got some more here. Looks like some football cards. As always, I appreciate you guys hanging out. What's up? Grant Nicklin's here. Nice to see you, buddy. All right, what do we got? I have a horrible memory, so I don't remember all these. So it's kind of fun to get them in the mail. It's like, ooh, what did I, what did I buy? <laughs> Too many concussions, I suppose. Too much fun in the '90s. Precision passers. It's the red variant, I think. Uh, I think the other ones are silver. I, I noticed that. I think that might be a parallel. I'm not 100% sure. Everybody loves Aaron Rodgers. We got a lot of Aaron Rodgers. These um, absolute cards are beautiful. I was glad to pick that one up. That's from this year, I believe. No, 2018, sorry. Another absolute. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. There's a lot of Packers in the one the one pile I had Packers. Yeah, I'll be there this Sunday, Big D. I, I try to check it out. Um, I don't have to work. I don't think I have anything planned. So there's a lot of some Rodgers that we got. Some Prisms. Prisms are always good looking cards. I think I already have this card, but actually that's very that's extra shiny. That might be the parallel. Flashbacks, Brett Favre. The regular and the gold. And the three time MVP upper deck. This was probably the card in that lot that I really wanted. Probably got it for a buck or two. Brett Favre was so exciting to watch. What? Is that for real, Big D? Thanks, buddy. What a guy, man. That's awesome. Thank you, sir. Paul Horning. That's a beautiful card. Super shiny from Absolute. Absolute makes some good stuff. I say it's a good product. I like it a lot. 
Let's see what these are. These look like bonus cards. I don't remember going after any of the rookies. I have a lot of these myself. AJ Brown, Hollywood Brown. He's the what the nephew of AJ Brown or um, Antonio Brown. With his messed up feet in Oakland. Oh, man. If you haven't seen Antonio Brown's feet, Google it because it's gross. Dude stepped into a cryogenic tank to, you know, for healing and stuff after practice. And I guess he wasn't wearing the proper shoes or something. And he burned his feet up. Oh, it's super gross. I'm in Cincinnati, so I love me some AJ Green. They put up a lot of Bengals. Oh, yeah, I always plug you guys. You go uh, look at a few videos we've done recently. We give RSR some shout-outs. They get, get some great deals at that auction. They go every Sunday around 3 o'clock. Gold Zone, that's a gold parallel of Geno Atkins. Geno Atkins is one of the most undervalued players in the league. Dude is an absolute beast. That's from 2019. That's a pretty card. AJ Green optics. The the optics are beautiful this year. They really are. They're they're always good looking card. Um, this is last year. I'm sorry, last year. I'm, this year's will come out in December, if I remember correctly. Uh, the baseball optics this year are really good looking too. Looks like mostly football. I should have titled this football. I'm sorry. I don't think I ended up with any baseball cards aside. From, not many aside from the Wade Boggs. A little bit of basketball mixed in. Again, Joe Mixon, an outstanding young running back for the Bengals. Man, they got some offensive line troubles this year. I'm worried about him staying healthy. Tom Brady. This is a 2019 Prism. Uh, yeah, Prism, right? Prism? Yeah, Prism. Couple cards of Tom in his Wolverine uniform. Yeah, if you want to hang out after this, I'll drag, uh, give me about 10 minutes. I'll drag the webcam over to the other part of my living room there and uh, take a look at what I got coming up for the auction if you guys want. Um, I can show you those twins cards, Big D. It's more Tom Brady. Been beefing up my Tom Brady collection recently. Because why not? There's some standard cards. Nothing crazy. And then uh, this one. Was this the this one numbered? I was thinking I picked up a numbered card somewhere along the way recently. But that's a beautiful card. Oh, let me. Sorry. Let me get it down there for you. Oh, there it is. There's the number. So Gronkowski, 129 out of 149 right there by my thumb. Beautiful. I don't have any numbered or relic or autographed Gronk stuff, so that was nice. All right. Bonus cards. That's exciting. RSR hooking me up. Once again, check them out. They're awesome over there. Rob and Bubba. Big D works with those guys. Big D. Sports and collectibles. All right. Some bonus cards. I bought some Packers, so they sent me some Packers. Martellus Bennett. Jimmy Graham. Outstanding tight end. Well, that's a good looking card. Those elite cards are real nice. We have uh we have an elite break if you go back a little bit to be able to find that one. Donald Driver. Donald Driver was a very good player. Um the Hall of Very Good, the Hall of Great, maybe not a Hall of Famer, but um but an outstanding player in his day, no doubt about it. Oh, some Aaron Rodgers, beautiful. Jair Alexander. I mean, that's a rookie card. 
Oh man, that kid's uh he has a chance to be good too. He's super athletic. Cornerback. Nice. Clay Matthews, everyone knows how good a player he is. Just an absolute terror on the defensive side of the ball. Where's he at? O Oakland? I can't remember where he's at right now. Anybody in the chat remember where Clay Matthews ended up? Chris Hogan. <laughs> no, you're. I imagine you like the Vikings if you like the Twins, so hating uh, the Packers would make sense to me. Devin McCourty, prism card. Man, those prism cards are beautiful. A couple of Patriot prism cards. James White. Nobody talks about him as much as they should. Ryan Izzo, rookie. Prism rookie. Look how beautiful that card is. Man, that's awesome. Tom Brady, beautiful. The contenders. And Jared Stidham. He's the guy they hope takes over for Tom. And uh, at this point, it's hard to doubt, um, you know, what they're doing there. So if they say he's talented, it's, I got to believe them. Well, thanks again, RSR Cards and Collectibles. You guys are great sending me some uh, extra bonus stuff. Always have fun at the auctions. Check them out usually every Sunday. Um from uh, starting about 3 o'clock, I believe. So we got into this break, and it was a horrible break. It was um, the gold standard, and I paid too much for it, and I only got three cards, as you can see. Um, they, I guess they, they packaged the... It was random, so I got Green Bay and Jacksonville together. And it wasn't great. Rashawn Gary, rookie, if you check my Twitter, he was on my list of guys that you shouldn't draft in the first round this year. Dude in his college career had less than 10 sacks, I want to say, nine, nine and a half sacks, um, which doesn't give me a lot of hope that he'll have a ton of success rushing the passer in the NFL. It is numbered to 99. It is an absolutely beautiful card, rookie card, um, but I don't really have high hopes for this guy. Um, despite where he went in the draft. There was a lot of buzz around him. He's athletic, um, but he doesn't turn the corner like an elite pass rusher, in my personal opinion. Jalen Ramsey, now this kid is really good. Uh, he talks a lot. He backs it up most of the time. 58 of 99. Once again, just beautiful cards, the Panini gold standards. Uh, he'll have a good career. Um you know, as with any NFL player, you, you know, barring barring injury, obviously. But uh, no, dude, super talented, just really, really good player. I'm glad to have that in my collection. And yeah, Dexter Williams, rookie, number to 99. It was uh, it wasn't great. wasn't a great break for me. Got a little unlucky, but that happens. You you understand when you're getting into uh, a break with some random circumstances that uh, something bad can happen, and that one was pretty bad. So, uh, yeah, but thanks to Leighton, those guys, we had a lot of fun uh, watching when we, were in, when we weren't involved with that. So, all right, this is the one. I'm very – yeah, it was a rough break, Luke. It went really well. Luke, Luke Taylor's here. Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Um I'm really excited to see what Leaf sent me. When I pulled the redemption, um, it was initially on it. On it, it, it said it was expired, um, and that it had a pretty quick expiration date on it. Um, so hopefully, they got me the black label, whatever um, parallel Derwin James. Um, but it is possible they sent me something different. Oh, it is! Look at that. Numbered to 25, Derwin James, auto, yep, that's a draft, 2008, Ultimate Leaf, that's a rookie autograph, numbered to 25, take a little 
Oh, that's sick. That's the black parallel as well. You'll notice the black across the bottom. I uh, can't really read his name. Not a great signature. Um, but an absolutely beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, what a redemption. For my first redemption, that's exciting. Packers and Jets getting killed in breaks this year. Yeah, yeah, not a lot of stuff out there. for. And it's so weird. I mean, yeah, the Jets, whatever. But the Packers have such a rich history. You would think there'd be some, you know, some good uh, Reggie White stuff out there. Um, hey, Trout the Beast. What's up, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. We're just about to wrap up. Um, but, yeah, there's a ton of history. Reggie White, now, they just, you know, the Packers history. There's so many guys. But, um, yeah, kind of strange that 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 break didn't go better. So there's some good-looking cards for you. Um, we got that numbered Gronkowski. Here, I'll show a couple of them real quick for you before we go. Since Big D just want or uh, Trout just wandered in, uh, that Gronkowski numbered to what I say it was one twenty five or there's another one twenty five, one forty nine. That's a good looking card. We got our uh, I don't know I don't know about Dexter Williams. Maybe Rashawn Gary will pan out. I don't know. But Jalen Ramsey, obviously an outstanding player. So there you go. Some uh, quick mail, just a few envelopes full of stuff. RSR sending me some bonus goodies. I uh, certainly do appreciate them. Make sure you check them out. Yep. All right. Well, um, if you guys want, uh, stay tuned. Um, Big D, do you want me to pull the webcam over and uh, start up a new one? We can look at the Twins. See what else I got over there. Anybody want to hang out and chat for a while? Yeah, give me uh, give me five ten minutes. I got to move everything over there to where I got all the cards laid out. Hey, once again, um, I always appreciate it. Make sure you leave a chat uh, in the comments or whatever, and and. Give us some feedback. I love uh, talking to you guys. It's always a great source of fun and entertainment for me. Your support means a lot. I do appreciate it. I am Preston. Be good, have fun, and I will see you next time.